Final leg, back again for another weekly athlete spotlight. We know the Sydney McLaughlins, we know the Shakari Richardsons, we know some of the top athletes who have been dominating. Let's talk about some who aren't getting as much spotlight, but truly do deserve it after some great performances. Let's jump into it. First off, we have to talk about Tamari Davis. Now, she is one of the top athletes who was coming out of high school early in 2020, I think it was January 2020, Tamari Davis went pro when she was just 16 years old. She was tearing up the high school tracks, both outdoors, of course, in 2019, and then early indoors in 2020. She went pro, but this weekend at the Music City Track Festival, in the 100 meters, she took the win in 10.91 seconds, a legal sub 11 performance in the 100 meters. This is a huge performance, not only because it's sub 11, but it's also because of how much she improved her personal best by. Prior to 2022, her personal best was 11.13 seconds, set all the way back in 2018. This year alone, she has run 11.06, a wind aided, plus 4.2 meters per second at LSU. She also ran 11.08 seconds into a negative 0.8 meter per second headwind in Puerto Rico. So she was showing that, okay, she's ready to really break this 11 second barrier. And now she finally did it with this 10.91 second personal best. She's only 19 years old. So again, she went pro when she was 16. She's only 19 years old. So this is a huge performance. We usually don't see many of these top athletes who go pro out of high school really come to the forefront and you know make strides when it gets to their professional careers. I, I can name a plethora of different athletes, but at 19 years old, running 10.91 seconds, this is a huge performance for her. We really gotta take a look at that women's 100 meter field though, right? It is extremely crowded. I would say, of course, Shakira Richardson is definitely probably the US favorite right now. Behind her, you have names like Tanisha Terry and Tiana Daniels, but then uh, it's a plethora of other names, right? Jenna Prandini, Aaliyah Hobbs. There's so many other women who are in that women's 100 meter field and not a real clear standout, I would say, you know, behind some of those top ladies. So you never know, Tamari Davis might insert herself into that conversation with this 10.91 personal best. So keep a lookout for her. Let's jump over to the men's side, still sticking in those sprints. We have to talk about Josephus Lyles, of course, younger brother of Noah Lyles. Also at that Music City Track Festival, 200 meter personal best, 20.03 seconds. That equals his personal best set all the way back in 2021 at the Prefontaine Classic last year. Remember, high profile Diamond League race. He ran against Noah Lyles. He ran against, you know, top, top other guys in that race. But to equal his personal best here at the Music City Track, Track Festival really shows where his season is going. Check a couple episodes back. I told y'all to look out for Josephus Lyles when he ran 20.20 seconds early in the year at a low key meet, right? So he is poised to break 20 seconds this year. He's going to run 19 seconds. He is definitely gonna be one of those athletes we really gotta look out for. Unfortunately, he is under the radar, not only because, you know, there's so many guys in the 200, but also, of course, he's a younger brother of Noah Lyles, so he's always kind of in his shadow. And like I said, the 200 meters is extremely stacked between Noah Lyles, between Aria Knighton, between uh, Fred Curley, uh, Keddy Benaric, right? Those guys are really, really stepping things up. They have medals or they have extremely fast times, but do not sleep on Josephus Lyles. He might mess around, drop something extremely fast. He might mess around and sneak onto that 200 meter team. Keep a lookout for him. This 20.03 equaling his personal best really bodes well for his season. Now, jumping back to the women's side, and now we're talking about the 400. So stepping it up from one, two to four, Sada Williams comes from Barbados in the 400 meters at the Rabat Diamond League that just went down this past weekend. She ran 50.74 seconds. Season's best for her. Now, that's not a personal best. That only ranks her number 17 in the world this year. So why is this time important? Let's put some context to it. Last year, Williams ran a personal best of 50.11 seconds in the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games. So significantly faster than what she just ran here. But before the Tokyo Olympics, her personal best was only 51.31 seconds. So she never broke 51 seconds before making it to the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games. Now, after the games, she had run uh, 50 seconds a couple times on the circuit. So she really stepped things up after the Tokyo Olympic Games. For her to run 50 seconds already in the season in June shows that she is ahead, significantly ahead of where she was last year prior to the Olympics. And this bodes very well for the remainder of the season, right? If she times things very right, 
we could see her make it into the 400 meter final and at, at that point anything goes right again personal best of 50.11 seconds she's already really kind of ahead of pace in terms of what she was at last year 50.74 seconds here in Rabat so definitely come out keep a lookout for Williams she's definitely going to be one to look out for when we're talking about the 400 meter finals in the Eugene championships now a couple others have to take a look at want to give a shout out to Agate de Sousa who competes for Sao Tome and Principe I noted her a couple weeks ago but in the women's long jump just this weekend, she jumped a personal best of 6.81 meters out at the Poland um, Continental Tour. A huge personal best for her. Previously, when I highlighted her, she jumped 6.72 meters. So she is making some progress and we are seeing her getting on that cusp of that seven meter barrier. Keep a lookout for D'Souza. Again, competes for Sao Tome and Principe. Let's end things off. I have to talk about Kenny B. Now it's crazy. I'm talking about the Olympic silver medalist. I'm talking about the guy who broke 20 seconds a plethora of times last year. Why am I talking about him on this list? Well, guess what? He has been getting overlooked all throughout 2022. I think it's because unfortunately he hasn't been running super, super fast, but guess what? At the Rabat Diamond League, he opened up his season in the 200 meters in a time of 20.21 seconds. Now. That's not breaking any records. That's not going up the 2022 yearly list, right? It's not a fast time. And he had run it with a 2.0 oh, meter per second headwind behind him. So a little bit of wind, of course, you know, 200 meters, crosswinds on the turn, whatever. But most importantly, he won the race. That is super important. Why? Last year, Kenny B never finished lower than second place in any race all throughout the year. Like I said, he got silver at the Tokyo Olympics in the 200. Um, and then going into this year, he's been kind of up and down, right? He hasn't run as many fast 100 meters um, as some of the other guys, right? Like Lyles or, you know, like uh, Curly or like some of the other guys, right? But he is not out of it. People have been forgetting what he did last year and forgetting that he is much better at the 200 meters. I don't think his 100 meters is really indicative of what he's capable of at the 200. And he said it himself that he's much better at the 200, his start is much better, he's able to run that curve a lot better and position himself well to come for that home straight. We saw him do that in Rabat, we saw him get the win. We're gonna see him a couple more times, uh, very recently in the next couple weeks. He's gonna run the 100 in Rome, he's gonna run I think the 200 meters at the New York um, Continental Tour, so definitely keep a lookout for him. I'm gonna show you a little bit of an interview I did with him after the 100 meters at the Prefontaine Classic. I want you all to check that out. Kenny Benerick, um, great work today. You still got a lot, a lot to go, but I think people have been sleeping on you. Like as you were the silver medalist from last year, you were multiple times under 20 this year, but I feel like people are kind of taking your name out the conversation, but how are you feeling about this season so far? Um, I'm starting off a little bit slow. Uh, the beginning of the season, I um, was doing really well, but then I had some unfortunate incidents that happened, so I've been you know, trying to get back in form, and it's going to take a while. i got a lot of work to do, yeah. work on my start. Uh, I'm not really worried about the two, but the hundred. You know, I need to, you know, get my, my crap together. No, no worries. <laughs> but yeah, my biggest uh, goal this year is just to work on my starts, and for the 200, I think my, I have the best turn in the 200, but I just got to work on leading, uh, holding on that last 100 meters so I don't let anybody try to get me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I know what you're saying. I feel like there's a, a lot of people already, you know, kind of in a way disrespecting me. Uh, you know, I am a silver medalist and I'm not trying to be the guy like, hey, look at me. But, you know, like when I was coming out of Juco, I was kind of like, you know, I've been running these fast times. Um, respect, you know, giving my respect, at least put me in the conversation because like you were saying last year, under sub 20 like too many times for my liking <laughs> but uh you know it was a good accolade to uh, my career yeah. um but yeah like every time i step on track i'm gonna let them know that i'm here either i'm gonna win or i'm gonna make them work for work ass off nice. to get a, a w so, so, well kenny b thank you so much really appreciate you. it so definitely look out for kenny b to improve i think he is going to make that u.s team to the world championships and not only is he going to make that u.s team i think he's going to medal at the world championships so Kenny B, 200 meters, definitely keep a lookout for him. These are some of the athletes I highlighted. There are a plethora of different athletes. I wish I can you know, go in deep to the archives and get all the different athletes who aren't get re getting recognition, but go into the comments below. Let me know any athletes that really do deserve some recognition for some performances that they not only did this past weekend, but also in some previous weekends as well, and who you might be looking forward to going into the USA Championships, the World Championships, and even for the rest of the season, all right? Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.